In Genesis, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Yeah. But then the sun was created a few days later. What was this light that God created? Let there be light. Remember, number one, this is Enki and Enlil doing this work, mm. yeah? And you have to go backwards to why this was taking place. That's why I said to you that in Genesis, they call it Genesis, and people think that's the beginning, but it's not. It's, it's the reconstruction. Because there was a meteorite shower that hit the planet and the, the sun was blocked. Yeah, the rays of the sun was blocked. So the, the planet wasn't actually, it was like, the, the, there was hardly any life on it. So what Enki was doing is he was terraforming the planet by clearing the dust clouds. And this is the being that they're talking about when they're saying, he said, let there be light. Remember, it also goes on to say the greater light and the lesser light. And I already explained that before because people think that the greater light is the sun and the lesser light is the moon. But as I said, you're dealing with the light within you, yeah? Because, like I said, um, it says the, um, the light is in the darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. Mm. So you're really dealing with your solar plexus when you look at the word solar. I can actually go back. Let me give you, like, the, the solar, the, our solar system right now, yeah? How it was formed, yeah? So you've got... Um, all the planets in this solar system were part of a planet before that planet exploded. Yeah? yeah, that planet was known as Om. Yeah, that planet itself was once a part of a, another planet before that called Sal, and that planet was ruled by two beings called Sal and Arena, which is where you get the, they put their two names together to give you the word solar. Yeah, because solar it deals with the sun. That that. Um, planet called Sal exploded to form the Milky Way and then the Milky Way as I said the planets from there exploded to form our solar system when the planet you have to know how suns are born and how they die and the evolution of a sun will when it explodes like the pieces of the of the of the um, sun they get thrown out and then they get caught in the magnetic pool of the, the mass. So in our solar system at the moment, the sun is literally, high, it's now just hydrogen and helium that is constantly burning. That hydrogen and helium can burn for millions of years, but at some point, it's just fuel, like when you put fuel in your, in your tank. At some point, that's going to run out. Mm -hmm. And when it, when it runs out, then people that are living on the planets that are orbiting that sun, they go think of how to survive. And this has happened many, many times. So when you're saying sun, light, yeah, light, when you look in the sky, you see all the stars, those are suns. But there's darkness surrounding all those suns. No matter how far you go, there's always darkness because light travels, yeah? Light travels at a speed, 186,272 feet per second. And no matter how fast it travels, it could not escape the darkness. Yeah, so the, the darkness is so deep that when you're saying God created the light, you're really talking about one of these suns or one of these stars, which then form, like I said, solar system, and then you get galaxies. And now they've got um, the latest telescope they've got is called the James Webb Telescope, which they can look further now to see like the creation of like universes. And before that, they were using the Hubble Telescope. So what I'm saying is like, when you're looking at what people are calling the beginning, there isn't one beginning. There's many beginnings. But people just go back to like the beginning of our universe. But there's seven universes. I mean, some of this stuff people may not be familiar with or may not have heard, but it's not just like one light. Because light is actually um, one of the problems because we can go into how light forms with the photons and now that you use the word illumination tie into the Illuminati, the people that are running the world, and they're blinding people with the light of religion, you see. So it, there's a lot more to the story. So when you start going into the Illuminati, because that means the illuminated ones, but as I said, darkness precedes light. Because in the Bible, it tells you, it says, God said, let there be light, as you just quoted. So if God is saying, let there be light, what state is in before he creates the light? Darkness. So darkness is actually better and it goes into racism and all of that because like light people are favoured over darker people 
and you know, like I said, it, it's kind of deep when we go into the whole light and dark and because um, if we were to lock off the lights in this room right now and we never met each other and we were just in pitch black blackness, you would only feel our vibrations of each other. You wouldn't be able to discriminate about who's taller, who's shorter, who's lighter, mm -hmm. who's, you know what I mean? That's what, that comes with light because light brought about chaos. Right. Yeah. But as I said, we can go even further if you want to. But 